And as you mentioned, big waves and rough surf are making for dangerous conditions down on the Jersey Shore, and it's not ideal for families hoping to relax and enjoy the unofficial end of summer. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo has more from Long Branch. There's nothing unusual about a lifeguard keeping a close eye on swimmers. But this holiday weekend, you can feel the urgency. That eye is laser focused. When there's a greater risk for rescues, then we need to make sure that everyone's taken care of. Big waves and dangerous rip currents caused by storms making for a rough surf down the Jersey Shore Sunday. It was pulling me out and like, um, I kept like, it keeps like knocking me down. The farther you go out, it gets pretty, uh, pretty rough actually. The tide's really strong. Here at Seven Presidents Beach, they've got the yellow flag out. That means people can swim, but they're urged to use caution. Lifeguards have their rescue buoys ready to go, but they hope not to have to use them. We could have close to 100 responsive actions, and a responsive action includes a rescue, um, a bather assist. Assistant lifeguard supervisor Mike Tamino says they had to reduce the size of the swimming area marked by these checkered flags at the beach in Long Branch. A lot of that includes redirecting patrons, moving them from problem areas to safer areas. Further down the shore, swimming off limits at some beaches. In Ocean County, surfers told to come in. The sprinklers will do just fine for others. It's not worth the risk. It's dangerous. It's very hard that waves. Those who dare to take a dip stay close to shore. After all, it is enticing. The temperature's really good. Experts say if you are caught in a rip, don't swim against the current. Relax and float. I've always said you don't uh, drown because you can't swim. You drown because you panic. Perhaps most importantly, you always have to keep your eye on the ocean. In Long Branch, New Jersey, Anthony Carlo, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.